Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Gianna Tillery. And I'm Louis Bose, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The Southern Maryland Higher Education Center is known as the University System of Maryland at Southern Maryland, or USMSM for short. The center currently serves 282 students. The Higher Education Center joined the University Systems of Maryland's cluster of schools including Bowie State University, Salisbury University, and multiple other schools, totaling 42 degree and certificate programs offered. The center also partners with a host of colleges and universities around the country, which offer upwards of 65 additional degrees and certificate programs. Plan to see a third building on the USM campus. The building will be dedicated towards research, which will make the this campus one of a kind. Senator Jack Bailey said in a statement that a third building on campus is important to economic growth in our state. It will help local economy both within the Navy base and out in the local community. Steve Walker, the Director for Emergency Services in St. Mary's County said on Tuesday, the complaints the department have been receiving about the system being down have gone down and we think that it will continue. This comes after the installation and testing of a new 911 radio system in St. Mary's County. A $34 million contract was awarded to Harris Corps in 2012 to install a new radio system. Since the system installation, there have been reports from emergency services personnel and county citizens of radio distributions. County Commissioner Mike Hewitt said a spotlight was put on the situation after an infant had died during a communication shutdown on October 2012 but that death was not attributed to the radio failure. Walker has said that the emergency services department has increased pressure on Harris Court to make things better and is now working on completing preventative maintenance and upgrades on mobile radios for the volunteer fire and emergency services. The Great Mills Hornets Boars basketball team took to the court on Monday night after a loss five days prior in the SMAC Conference Championship game versus Thomas Stone. Monday night was about taking care of business as the Hornets had 11 players on the score sheet and ended it with a 73-45 win over the Northern Patriots in Class 3A South Section 2 semifinal. Great Mills, the top seed in the section, hosts the second seeded St. Charles in the finals. The Hornets head coach Jeff Burrell expressed how excited he was for his team to have another chance to keep pushing for what they want. Northern head coach Frank Moore said Great Mills is pretty good. They played a great game. They made us turn the ball over way too much and scored a lot in transition. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you today on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Louis Bose. And I'm Deanna Tillery. Signing off.